Howdy folks, I'm Brian. I'm Amber. And here's some Reddit. Alright, our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for refusing to apologize for throwing away my dinner instead of letting my fiancé have it? I'm a 22-year-old female and I've been with my fiancé, a 20-year-old male, for two years and recently we got engaged. I handled cooking while he takes care of other things including rents and utility. He has been eating a lot lately. I started cooking in large pots and buying extra ingredients. He usually tells me what he'd like to eat for dinner. No, I usually cook three times a week. Other than that, we have plenty of leftovers. So on to the situation. Last night, I cooked dinner early because he wanted to eat early. I prepared his plate and put my plate in the fridge ready to reheat for later. I was finished with studying and took a shower and went to the kitchen to reheat my dinner and sat at the table by myself and began eating. My fiancé came out of the bedroom saying he smelled the food when he was inside playing video games and thought of joining me because he was hungry. Without even asking, he put his hand on my plate wanting to eat from it. I stopped him and told him that he was being selfish as he already ate his much larger portion of what was cooked dinner and the food on my plate was barely enough for me. He complained about being hungry from playing video games. I told him I was hungry because of studying. He made a face and went to grab a spoon so we could eat together. I pulled my plate away and pointed at the fridge telling him that there were some leftovers in the fridge and he could go ahead and reheat some if he was hungry. He refused and insisted to share my dinner. I stood my ground and didn't let him. He got all mad, threw his spoon in the sink, and then spit in my plate. I was 100% taken by surprise and was livid and disgusted. I shouted, what in the world did he just do? He just smirked at me, telling me to enjoy as he walked out. I called him childish, and he turned around and walked back, saying that I was the one acting like a high school bully for refusing to let him... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I, have to take, I have to take a second here. She's acting like the high school bully because he's the one who's bullying her into eating her food. Hey, hey, kid. Give me your money. No, please don't steal my food. Why are you bullying me? Stop it. <laughs> it just doesn't even make any sense. Saying I was the one acting like a high school bully for refusing to let him share any of my dinner and telling him just to have leftovers. <laughs> this guy. I just said he was being selfish and petty to spit on my plate to stop me from eating and he managed to do it. I was so upset and I couldn't eat what was on my plate. It was gross and disgusting. I threw it in the garbage can. And he threw another fit asking why I threw away perfectly good food and he was counting on me giving it to him after he spit on it. We had a major fight. Probably the biggest fight that we've ever had thus far. He says I was wrong. I escalated and he wants me to apologize first so we could put this behind us but I said no way that I would apologize after he ruined my dinner and disregarded the time and effort I made to prepare the dinner. All right, OP. Well, you know, when you have a twisted, warped view on reality to the point where you think that the person who you are bullying is being a bully, <laughs> um, I don't know that there's any help here. He He does not sound like a very nice person. Maybe this is a one-time thing. Maybe this is the first time he's done something like this. I hope so. But this was completely uncalled for. I mean, he basically spit in your food so that you would give it to him. And I think that you did the right thing by throwing it away. And the reason why is this, because if he had spit in your food and you had just given it to him, then he would have taken that as a way of getting what he wanted in the future. He would have just, anytime he needed something or wanted you wanted your food, he would just spit in it. And then that would be that. Or you would just be forced to share. You cooked food for yourself and him, and he had plenty of opportunities to go and reheat leftovers. He just refused to do it. He could have sat down and ate with you, but he was being too lazy and just wanted the food that you already reheated. And, you know, this is a real shame. Um, You know, I don't even know, like in this particular case, maybe this is a one-off thing. Maybe this isn't a series of things, but I... 
I would really consider reevaluating your relationship from this one incident. Like, this may just be the tip of the iceberg on this kind of behavior. Maybe now that you two have been together for a couple of years, he's starting to show his true colors, so to speak. And maybe they aren't pleasant characteristics to be around. But maybe, again, maybe he's just had something off today and maybe if we gave him the benefit of the doubt I don't even really want to give him the benefit of the doubt I mean if this had been me I really just don't even know like what how rude can you possibly be so uh yeah I don't think that you're the jerk in this situation and uh yeah anyhow <laughs> take care and good luck what you should have done OP what you should have done is asserted dominance and just eating the food in front of him. <laughs> that looks that's going in my blooper reel. <laughs> yeah. Not the jerk, and I sincerely hope that you have already broken up with this man. Do not tie your life to his. A bunch of red flags? He dropped about 500 of these. Not the jerk, OP, but you could drive a B-52 bomber through your boyfriend's... <laughs> <laughs> through your boyfriend's butt it's so big <laughs> he spit in your food that you were eating because he was angry an angry little man do not let anyone disrespect you like that it will only get worse that's kind of my thought i'm really hoping that this is a one-time thing but honestly i think you should reevaluate your relationship op Oh, you need to unload that baggage like yesterday. He is childish and abusive, not the jerk. Hungry from playing video games. Abusive when OP won't go hungry because he's too lazy to work the microwave on his own. Her dinner was already left over from earlier when he had a fresh dinner. This man will just get worse. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm afraid of. All right. Our next letter is titled... Am I a jerk for not letting my husband have any birthday cake? Woo-wee! The title sounds childish, but bear with me here. Husband and I have two little girls, two-month and three-year-old, and as you can imagine, our household is hectic as anything. So I told him for my birthday, I don't want anything. I don't want to go out for a meal or a gift, but I did want a birthday cake. I even specified what cake. A vanilla cake, a vanilla buttercream with strawberries, mangoes, and kiwi on top. I like small traditions like birthday cakes. We didn't do it when I was growing up, and I've made a point on starting to do it now. Come to my birthday, and I was looking forward to this cake, and it turns out he did not get it. I got disappointed because I felt like what he did was just completely thoughtless. I got myself a small cake as well as my three-year-old. When I got home, my husband started nagging for half and I refused, which caused an argument. I'm upset because I see getting a cake as a minimal thought and effort, especially since I told him what cake to get. He says we shouldn't have to worry about birthday traditions while we've got two small children. I'm showing our three-year-old that it's okay to throw tantrums over something small. That's what she did. She threw a temper tantrum. He says he forgot because he's been busy with our baby. We do everything 50-50, so it's not like he's been alone with the baby with no time on his own. Am I the jerk? All right, OP. I'm going to have to say that you're not the jerk in this situation. It was thoughtless. He should have gotten you a birthday cake. You said the only thing you wanted, the only thing you wanted for your birthday was a birthday cake. That's it. That's it. That was the whole thing. The whole game. If he had just gone and gotten you a birthday cake, then it could have been a much happier day. And yeah, you two are busy. You two are hectic. You're parents of two small children, and they are probably a handful but it doesn't take that much thought and effort to go to the grocery store or call up your local bakery and say, hey, can I place an order for a birthday cake? I want to pick it up in a couple days. 
And he failed to do that. And I think that was just really just unfortunate. And yeah, that's my thoughts here. So I don't think that you're being a jerk here. I don't even feel like you're being petty. You wanted a cake. You bought yourself a birthday cake. He could have gotten himself a cake too if he really wanted to. But he clearly showed that he didn't really care about cake until you had it. So yeah, yeah. I, you know what? He had the gall. He had the audacity, the audacity to be like, hey, can I have your birthday cake that I didn't buy because uh, and now that I want because I see it, you know, that that just right there. You know, I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyhow, take care. Good luck. Not the jerk. You even told him what kind of cake you wanted, and he couldn't put a reminder on his phone to order you a cake. Nah, not childish. This isn't about cake, in my opinion. This is about his lack of effort to show any appreciation. It's so critical and so easily overlooked. You two need to sit down and talk about the fact that it's not about the cake, but something much deeper. Also, happy birthday. Oh yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> And OP says, thank you. For some reason, what bothers me the most is that OP went to get her own consulary birthday cake and her husband demanded half of it. Yeah, I know. As far as showing that he cares nothing at all about OP's birthday or feelings, that he really put the icing on the cake that he didn't bother to buy. And then tells her that she's the one throwing a temper tantrum. That seems a bit gaslighty. Our next letter is titled, Will I be a jerk if I refuse to cook for my sister-in-law? Hey there, Reddit. Every Friday, I'm an 18-year-old male, and my family likes to get together for a meal, and I usually cook it. My brother Cody, a 24-year-old male, got himself a girlfriend, Kimberly, a 23-year-old female. Cody told me the day before that Kimberly can't have much salt in her food. All right, I asked to use his phone to confirm that with her. She told me that this was her only dietary restriction or allergen that she has. Well, here comes the dinner, and we had some spaghetti and meatballs and some stir-fried vegetables. She asked if the noodles had gluten, which I assumed that they did. She then pushed the plate forward and pouted, not eating anything. She told Cody that she told me straight up that she can't have gluten, and I must have deleted the message on his phone. Okay, no salt and no gluten. The next dinner, and she's suddenly allergic, and she can't eat the stuff that's inside the food. Cody asked her why she can't eat these things, and she says, I'm your girlfriend, how do you not know? Last dinner, she was now allergic to the light garlic in the grilled chicken and asparagus I made, claiming it was making her vision go blurry. Cody confronted her, telling her that she had garlic knots and eggs in the morning with garlic in it. She suddenly couldn't see and begged to go to the hospital, causing a scene. My mom basically tore into me, saying how dare I send her to the hospital and that the doctor said there was nothing wrong. I'm fine with editing a meal to follow one's restrictions, but it seems like she's pulling out different things she can't eat, even to Cody's surprise. She eats sandwich bread and other bread just fine, but she refused to eat spaghetti for her no gluten restriction. Will I be a jerk if I don't cook for her anymore? All right, OP. Um, you can continue to cook your family meals and just tell her that she needs to pack her own food. Plain and simple, if she doesn't want to tell you all of her dietary restrictions and she wants to invent some on the spot, then I mean, you do not have to accommodate for someone who moves the goalpost for their dietary restrictions. If she's eating sandwich bread just fine and it's not gluten-free, then she doesn't have a gluten sensitivity here and, you know, she doesn't have celiac disease. And... The thing is that you are never going to make someone like that happy. It doesn't matter how many uh, restrictions she puts on her food. There's always going to be a new one. It sounds like she just doesn't want to eat the food or she doesn't want to be part of these family dinners. That, that's the only thing I can figure on why she would be causing these scenes. Also, tell Cody he needs to reevaluate this relationship. If she's 
doing this to kind of isolate him from his family, then that could be an abusive tactic that she's using. Like, this might be her way of basically being like, look, your family doesn't care about me. Your family doesn't like me. I don't want to go over to their house anymore. And if you go over there, you're supporting the people who, you know, basically treat me badly. And that could very well be the tactic that she's playing here. So I would be very cautious if I were Cody. That's just my thoughts. So anyhow, take care and uh, good luck. What's with all these food stories today, Amber? I don't know, but that was uh, a popular topic. Not the jerk. Plus, now you have a perfect excuse not to. You nearly sent her to the hospital once. You're not taking that risk again. I wouldn't have made her food after the first time she shunned what I had cooked. But no reason not to use a perfectly good excuse. OP replies, Yeah, to be honest, I actually didn't think about this. It's almost Friday again, and I might ask Cody not to invite her along because of the risk. Hope that doesn't seem like a jerk move, though. Never cook for her again. Tell her it's too dangerous. She needs to bring and prepare her own food. You wouldn't want to stumble into another of her mystery imaginary allergies again. Honestly, I doubt it'll be an issue much longer. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider giving me a like. If you didn't, consider giving me a dislike. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.